What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? It's time for spring fishing. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys my top five lures to have in my tackle box when I'm going out to catch fish in the spring. Redfish, trout, even the arrival of some flounder. All of these are going to be species I'm targeting with these five lures, and all of these five lures will work for each of them. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first lure you wanna make sure that you have in your box for spring fishing is an artificial shrimp. These are a absolute must of a profile to have in the spring because number one, fish have been feeding on them all winter long when bait fish are absent. And most of the bait fish don't really kind of start becoming the main source of prey until mid and late spring because a lot of the hatching does occur in early spring. So you wanna make sure that you have an artificial shrimp for when there's not a whole lot of bait fish present and those game fish are really dialed in on shrimp profiles. Some of the more popular choices out there include these Chase Baits Flip Prawns. Again, these are kind of expensive shrimp, but do know that with their ultra realism, the rattles, uh, and just really good design, it's gonna be hard for a fish to turn them down. These, again, are kind of expensive, so don't be afraid to pick up some of the cheaper alternatives. These gulps are great, and they've got a lot of scent in them. If you're fishing in an area that has dirty water, really hard to not have some gulps on you, but something that does combine the best of both worlds is our Salt Strong Power Prawn. These are fantastic because they do have that ultra-realistic body, but they do hold scent much better than these chase baits do, in my opinion. I like having the cavity in the bottom where I can put some Procure, I can spray some of the Dr. Juice on there. Really great for holding scent and it's just got a great action to it when you work it under a popping cork with a jig head. They, they produce really either way and I've caught a lot of fish using this power prawn in both the large size and the power prawn junior. So it's going to be one of those profiles that I'll probably use until around late spring when the fish really do transition to a mostly bait fish type pattern. And speaking of that, let's go ahead and move on to our next lure, which is going to be a paddle tail. Paddle tails are undeniably one of the best profiles to have in the springtime because again, a lot of these bait fish are hatching in the mid to late spring that's really when you're going to have the most success with that because they just absolutely flood the flats and predator fish absolutely dial in on them i do like to use the three to about four inch size profile in paddle tails because they really haven't gained too much of size uh, just because they are so early on in their life cycle as we get into late summer and fall Again, they're going to become larger in size, but I would say that that three to four inch size for the springtime is what's absolutely going to produce the most fish. Uh, but that's not to say you're not gonna catch fish on possibly smaller paddle tails or larger. I would just say the most quantity and quality is gonna come with that three to four inch size. I prefer to use more natural colors uh, like white that work in both dark and clear water just so I don't have to switch around different colors, things like that, which is why I like the Slam Shady color. And it can be rigged weedless or you can put it on a jig head. There's a lot of different options there. And it just allows you to cover a lot of different depths. You can fish it slow, fast, depending on what front has moved through in spring. You know, you do have cold days, you have warm days. So there's not a set pattern that you, you know, are gonna be fishing with. With some other lures, you really have to fish them slow or you have to fish them fast to get the right action out of it. Paddle tails can be fished a lot of different ways and are really versatile for springtime. So highly recommend you add some paddle tails in that three to four inch size to your tackle box as well. Now, something that I like to do when I have found the fish with paddle tails is really start dialing into them with suspending twitch baits. My favorite company that makes suspending twitch baits is Mirror Lure. Again, we're not sponsored by Mirror Lure or we receive any endorsements from them, nothing like that. I just find that they work flat out really well. I love the Miradines, those MR27s, the larger twitch baits. And again, I just like to work these once I've found fish with my paddle tails. They're not a great search bait because you do have to fish them slow, but the action of them as you twitch, twitch, pause, and really allow that lure to kind of sink down and it does that nice wobble. Trout absolutely love them. Redfish will crush them. And I've actually even caught some flounder using some larger suspending twitch baits like these corkies. These are also really great for trout. They're just a really effective lure all around. And something unique about these corkies compared to the hard body mirror lures, as you guys can see, the corky is made out of kind of a soft gel that you can manipulate and there's a wire that runs through it. You can bend the tail and the body so that it runs at a specific depth. So you turn the nose down and the tail down, it runs a little bit deeper. If you turn them up as you make those twitches, it's gonna run a little bit higher. There's a lot of adjustments you can make to it. I would say that it fishes just as well as the hard bodies, if not better, when you do make those twists and kind of bends and allow it to tweak based on where you're finding the fish. Uh, but I would say they both fish just as well and I've caught you know just as many fish with one or the other. Just know that a suspending twitch bait, the action of that twitch twitch pause allowing the lure to sink is what you're gonna get a lot of bites on when those fish really start dialing in 
on bait fish presentations. Again, you're going to want to choose the size based on the type of bait that's in your area. If you're seeing a lot of small minnows in your area, I don't recommend throwing a corky. I would recommend throwing one of the smaller mirror lures, the mirror dines. If you're seeing medium sized bait, you know, go with one of those MR27s. And obviously if you've got large shad like we do here in Texas that are spawning, I would go ahead and go with one of the corkies. Adjust that size based on the bait that you're seeing, which is the same thing that I talked about with the paddle tails. Really matching the hatch is the best way to go when it comes to choosing your baits. Now, for your big fish in the springtime, I highly recommend that you throw a top water. There are some diehard anglers that will use top waters in the winter time, but I find that the kind of mid to late spring is when I first really start seeing them become one of the main lures that I'm always tying on and having on a rod as I head out for my trips. I really like the Super Spook Junior as a best all around top water. It's just one of those lures that you can work under a ton of different scenarios. It casts like a bullet. I would say just overall in terms of what you're paying for it and how the way it walks, the sound, it's just a great option to use if you're not sure which top water to go with. Now, if you wanna fine tune things a little bit, if you've got a really windy day, I do enjoy the Rapala Skitter Walk V just because that V body does a little bit better of a job handling and chop. You're gonna get a good walk. The rattles are gonna engage. It's not gonna kind of flip over the waves like you see with some other top waters as you gotta have some really hard chop and the wind's picking that top water off the top. Now, if you're specifically going for larger fish, you're gonna have to use a larger top water, something that's gonna really give off a really good frequency of a larger bait fish kicking its tail. So it's gotta have a really good clack to it, which I really like with the original skitter walk, but the larger models of the original skitter walk are my go-to when it comes to big fish top waters. I've caught some really big redfish with them, as well as some large trout. I highly recommend that you have a top water in your box, especially if you're seeing a lot of bait getting blown up on the surface. And lastly, if you find yourself fishing on a day where it's calm and the water is clear, one of the deadliest lures that you can use in the springtime is a jerk shad. And this is the Alabama Leprechaun. There's a lot of different options out there. The gulp jerk shads are a very popular option that coach Tony Acevedo has had some amazing success with. I've been using the Alabama Leprechaun here in Texas. It's pre-scented, it's got some really nice flash to it, especially in that kind of off-color water if it's not specifically clear, but it needs to be clear enough to where the fish are definitely hunting by sight as the action of this lure. When you twitch, twitch, pause, it's got a really nice dart to it. Really important that those fish are able to see that, so I'm not gonna be using this in murky water, but the reason it's so effective is as we've talked about, the bait profiles are kind of switching between shrimp and bait fish, and this lure does both really well. It can look like a very large shrimp that's darting away, or a very injured bait fish that's stuck up in the flats. So fish have a very hard time resisting this. I've had some really good luck with some trout and some redfish on this. And I actually have caught some flounder on it as well when I was up in the Carolinas. So again, a very effective lure, but you have to use it under the right conditions. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you wanna pick up any of the tackle that I've shown you guys today, all the paddle tails, suspending twitch baits, artificial shrimp, top waters, jerk shads, we've got them at fishstrong.com at 20% off for Salt Strong Insiders. So I highly recommend you guys pick up these baits it's definitely going to help you improve your game as we get into spring fishing. And if you want to learn some more awesome fishing tips, I highly recommend you join us in the Salt Strong Insider Club as well. So if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we literally guarantee that you'll be catching more fish in less time while saving money on your tackle. We do this by providing you with premium education, an exclusive online fishing community, and access to group discounts on the best saltwater fishing tackle. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. We hope to see you in the Insider Club family soon.